Hi friends, it's Mrs. Cade here, and today we're going to be listening to a story called The Moon by Martha E. H. Rusted and Gail Saunders Smith, PhD, Consulting Editor. This is a nonfiction book, and they often have extra information to help readers understand what books are about. The Moon. So, Many nonfiction books have um, contents pages that tell what information is in the book and the pages where you can find information. So this page is called the table of contents. And so on page five, there's a shining light. On page 13, it says, what is the moon? The moon's surface starts on page 19. That's called the table of contents. It lets us know what we're going to be reading about. On the other side, it says revised and updated. That just means that the author and the consulting editor, Martha and Gail, they both said, you know what? I think we need to redo this book because more information, more updated information has come out, we need to update this book. That's a good thing. We want to know the most updated information. That's good. Let's read The Moon. A Shining Light. The moon shines above the earth. It brightens the night sky. Brighten means lights up. The moon is easy to find at night. Sometimes you can see the moon during the day. The moon reflects the sun's light to earth. The sunlit part of the moon seems to glow. If you're going to notice on the set, you will notice, I'm sorry, on the left side, that's called a diagram or picture and they help readers understand the information in the book. The big yellow orange thing, that's the sun. The greenish, bluish, yellow, white in the middle, that's the earth. And that little gray thing, that's the moon. And there's arrows showing the light that reflects And reflex means glows with light from the sun so that it can can be seen from the earth. Sometimes only part of the sunlit side of the moon faces earth. Our view makes it seem like the moon changes shape. What is the moon? The moon is Earth's satellite. It moves around Earth once every 28 days. The same side of the moon always faces Earth. Now the diagram on the left shows how the moon rotates or moves around the Earth. Now it looks like there's many moons, but it's just showing how it's moving around. So there's really only one moon, but it's moving around the Earth. Now a satellite is an object that moves around another object in space. Earth spins once each day. The moon looks like it moves from east to west as Earth spins. The moon is much smaller than Earth. About 50 moons could fit inside Earth. The moon's surface. Craters dot the moon. Each holes 
make the moon's surface rough. A crater is a hole made when something hits the surface of a planet or a moon. The moon is not like Earth. Gray dust and rocks cover the moon. The sky is always black. Glossary. A glossary is a place where you can find the words that you may not know. We talked about some of these words. We talked about a crater, a hole made when objects crash into a planet's or moon's surface. Earth. I think we know what the Earth is, the planet we live on. Glow. To give off a low, even light. Reflect. To return light from an object. The moon reflects light from the sun. Satellite. An object that travels around another object in space. The moon is Earth's satellite. Sun. The star that the planets and dwarf planets move around. The sun provides light and heat to the planets and dwarf planets. Surface, the outside or outermost area of something. That's the glossary. What have you learned about the moon from the words and pictures in this book? Hmm, let's think. Did you wonder about anything before we started? Maybe you thought about it. The earth is much bigger than the moon. What did it say? About 50? 50 moons could fit into the earth. The sun is much bigger than the earth. Yeah, exactly. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a second. The diagrams or pictures helped us understand the information in the books. What? Isn't that great? It's so helpful. Diagrams and pictures, they're so very helpful. What are some other ways that we can learn more about the moon? We could read more and we could also go on internet sites. Exactly. So there's three books that that we could read and there's so many more. But this book has offered us three other sites that are three other books that we could look at. One is called The Moon, Exploring the Galaxy. Another is called What is the Moon? I like space. And the third one is called Nightlight. A book about the moon. Amazing science. Internet sites. Uh, it's, one is called Fact Hounds. Offers a safe, fun way to find internet sites related to this book. Hmm. So there's facthound.com. And then you choose your grade, which would be kindergarten. And there's age appropriate sites. So I will list those on our job sheet. And if mom and dad say sure, or your guardian say sure, you could go on and look at the moon, then we can do that. Boys and girls, happy reading. Thanks, friends.